Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Brown Dust 2. Now, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is focusing on the top five ability skills that you guys should prioritize and work on. Now, the upgrade materials for this um, ability skills are very, very hard to come by. So that ability skill, like or the ability skill um, book that you use to upgrade that um, ability skill that you don't need. You now wasted it now you have to grind for a very very long time so a very very important video right here so if you guys don't want to miss out on any future important videos regarding brown dust 2 make sure you are subscribed to the channel make sure that post notification is on and let's get right into it so if you guys don't know what the ability skill is is this stuff over here now i will have a lot more ability skills compared to you guys because i have been summoning a lot of times trying to pull certain characters now there is many ability skills and i don't even think i have every single ability skill so let me me go ahead and uh, take a look at it actually okay so we go over to this section over here let's take a look at the ability skill so yeah i am actually missing a couple there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so there is 13 ability skills and i'm only going to talk about top five ones that are very very important the ones i'm missing is uh what is this duration increase as you rank up move to f no not, that's not important uh calculator discount oh that was actually quite good um what is this move movement speed as well mm, mm, mm. okay i can totally understand i understand now regarding the ability skills that let's just quickly say the top five ones and the ones you need to prioritize now the top five ones are cook gear alchemy dispatch and revival now there's one thing you need to know is the dispatch one is a only one character literally that, that can do dispatch i believe this is dispatch okay so as you can see the only character that can do dispatch right now is this unit right now and um you can actually unlock this character so in the pub where if you guys know what the pub is the pub is where you can get yourself a five star character for free technically using the five star ticket or five star scroll now everyone has recommended and i will also recommend that you guys wait until you get to chapter four or story four and then you complete that and then you go into pub and you'll find this character there you will be able to actually recruit him and this is everyone's priority in terms of using your five star um scroll you can also use it for any other five star character you want but in terms of mid maxing your account and making sure you have all the best ability you definitely want to get grab this one because this dispatch one is going to be absolutely amazing for your for your um, account because it gives you passive income makes it idle and you get a lot of resources and as you rank up this ability you can then um like send over to dispatch free dispatch and you're getting like you know um idol reward so that is actually very very important in my opinion to get but he isn't the number one i would say you should focus on now in terms of priority number one that is your gear now yeah luckily for you guys they actually do give you a character with the gear so the first character they give you is this unit over here over here sorry <clears throat> fred he has the ability to you know craft and gears but um as you upgrade it i believe you also yeah, you will you will be able to upgrade the um type of well you will be able to increase the type of gear you guys are able to make so in terms of me i have been focusing on lila um in terms of increasing the ability skill because she's a four star character he's a four star a three star character there isn't any difference to be honest but because but i know i'm going to be using a four star character a lot more than a three star character i decided to go with layla in terms of upgrading the ability skills and now i can make our gears the first gear you can make is n and then you have to you know um for those of you who don't know how to know how to upgrade your ability skill let me go over that as well actually i've forgotten to talk about that so what you need to always know is in terms of your abilities you have to use them and then whenever you use the ability you gain xp for that ability now if you go over to my character in terms of the gear when i was talking about right now go over to layla there she is i have been using her skills a lot and um, i am now able to craft our gears now if i want to rank this up i will need so how many do i have only have one to get sr gear I had to actually buy this for those of you guys who don't know the resources especially this one you can only get from the evil castle shop and this is only obtainable the resource that you need to be able to buy it is only attainable when you have three star characters maxed out 
in terms of the costume and you and you still if you pull them they give you this type of resource and that you resource is what you would need to actually be able to exchange for that item and i only have one so far so i need to save it for this unit so that i can upgrade my gear so she is priority number one in terms of um, ability skill um right now in terms of how close i am to being able to upgrade her let me quickly show you guys right now um i'm gonna craft one gear right now um I don't, I don't really need any of the gears right now. But anyways, as you can see, plus three at the bottom, it showed. I still have a long way to go before I'm able to actually rank this character up, which absolutely sucks. But hey, that is the game. So number one is your gear crafting character. Number two is your alchemy character because you need the alchemy to help you guys upgrade your resources that you will need to use for your gears. So let me quickly upgrade this and um, use the alchemy stuff. You also get an XP, but right now I am capped in my XP. Now, the reason why I'm capped is because I have reached obviously the max HP I can get. Now, what they want me to do is upgrade that. But the issue with that is if I go over to her, is she also requires that resource that I only have one copy of. And I'm not sure whether it's a priority of mine to get that first because I won't even be able to make uh, SR gear. The alchemy is important because as you rank up your gear um, ability skill you're going to need certain uh, resources and you need to use the alchemy skill to upgrade that resources so that you are able to craft so as you are upgrading your gear you need to be op um gear ability you need to be upgrading your alchemy so the alchemy character if i remember correctly is this unit over here now um as you can see i have reached the limit so i should be able to well i should rank her up but I, mm, I, I actually want to get XP. Actually, I will rank this up. I will. Um, there we go. Very, very hard to come by with these resources. But number two is alchemy. Very, very important for your gear um, upgrades and your gear grind. So that is number two. Now coming in at number three. Let me quickly go away from this. Is the cook. Now cook cooking is actually important. Why is that? Is because as you're progressing in the game, stuff will become harder. And you will need this cooking stuff to be able to actually gain some XP. So I'm going to be crafting all of this. There we go. I gain, I gain 60 of the XP, which is great, very, very nice. But I need all of this cooking items and I need all of this stuff because if my character of mine is low leveled and I don't want to use my, um, I don't want him to die. I will need to use my cooking or use my food that I just crafted to um, increase the HP or not increase but to heal my character so very very important stuff as well but not as important as the gear and alchemy now coming in at number four I had to go with dispatch because dispatch overall is just insane and very very helpful in terms of getting resources every two hours you're able to send some stuff you get five of the golden um, XP stuff and then you get a bunch of other stuff as well um, but as you level this up you'll be able to get two and three so very very nice and that is the dispatch and coming in at number five we have the revival now there's one particular character that i would say you should use a revival and that is so sammy because what she does is she basically gives you 50 percent hp whereas the other revivals i've seen they only revive you with one hp which yeah um i went with her now it is going to cost me a lot more so 22 ability pills compared to this one which is 10 but i will be upgrading revival but not my main priority so that's why i put it at number five in terms of upgrading and usefulness um but the rest of the other skills like search not as important don't upgrade that uh especially danger detection don't even bother that's terrible um search is going to be useful when you want to get like find hidden stuff but like not your main priority out of all the ability skills so that is number um so that is all the top five ability skills that you should be focusing on number one i repeat is gear very very important number two is alchemy number three is cook number four is dispatch and number five is revival and for the characters you require um the, luckily the game gives you characters for the cook and gear and the alchemy um the only one you need to focus on or to get is the dispatch character and uh sammy for the revival but uh yeah um in terms of upgrade materials like i said it's very very hard to come by uh let me show you guys actually what i mean in terms of getting that last resource 
so this is the shop i am talking about you will need this item over here and this is only obtainable from summoning dupes that you have maxed out um and yeah this is it over here this three star stuff now it costs 40 and i'm not gonna lie this is extremely extremely expensive um, this resource isn't as easy as you think obviously you have to summon but with the in terms of the gem resources in this game not being that good this is going to be very very hard to manage and uh, that's why it's very important that you only upgrade very very important ability skills and i would say the top three ones are your main priority but cooking not really i, I would actually want to put dispatch above cooking um i feel like once you get to level two for your cooking you can stop there for now as uh, until you upgrade your characters even more and then the H hp is above 2000 or 3000 then yes it would, it would be important to upgrade your cook ability to level three um but yeah this is what you're going to require and there's only 10 monthly so there is a monthly limit um i also want to get this though because grinding this or trying to farm this is very very hard um anyways that is all i wanted to talk about in today's video hopefully you guys found this helpful and useful don't forget to like subscribe stay tuned for more content on brown dust 2 it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out